Hello, and welcome to True Plays Undertale, my number one game from 2015. Oh yeah, let's reset this. This is like the third time I've recorded this. Again. <laughs> okay, so Undertale is an RPG, much in the style of like an Earthbound, with some of the best story. Don't you have anything better to do? See this heart? That is your soul. Very culmination of your being. He says different dialogue like every time I've come to him. That's very interesting. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What does LV stand for? Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Like I said, this is the third time I've recorded this, and he says something different every time. Down here, love is shared through. Little white friendliness petals. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Save. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. So, like I said, best story in a game ever. Splendid, I am proud of you little one. Let us move to the next room. Now I'll get into this. Well, as a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright, she wants us to talk? Let's talk. You encounter the dummy, so we'll press act, and we'll press dummy, and we'll talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I'm still getting used to this. I was using controller earlier, but I was having... Let's spare. I'll get into combat later. I'm just gonna skip through this section. Um, what was I gonna say? I was playing with a controller earlier. Earlier, this is the puzzle. But here, take my hand for a moment. But I guess the the dead zone in my controller is bad, so I'm using keyboard and mouse. So if it looks like I'm having issues playing, that might be why. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Hopefully I can do better by the time I get to the boss of this area. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this.
Thumbs King's controller. I need to get a new controller. It's like awkward to play this with a keyboard and mouse. I don't know. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? God, I miss this game so much. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Yeah, oh man, I just I had so much fun with this game. And I, I, I wish I could go back before I... Like, I wish I could replay this with zero memory of it. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. I would definitely recommend that you pick this up if you're interested in this at all. And if you're not, I would still recommend. Okay, so I'm gonna show off the mercy. So, in this game you can act. Uh, you act. And you can, you get options to f act on enemies. So you can check, console, or terrorize. But for this specific instance, his name is Yellow, which means that I can mercy him. I wasn't expecting Wimsome to be my first, so I'm just going to spare him. This will make more sense later, if I fight a different enemy. Yeah, you can either fight or be merciful, and I appreciate games that give me that choice. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait. Do not tell me. Is it butterscotch? Hee hee hee. I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Okay, so I like I said, I recorded this earlier. And I guess because I recorded earlier, now the characters have memory of that previous recording, which is really weird. This is a brand new game. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Huh, that's really interesting. I'm trying to move through here. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. I don't think she asked me that earlier. And now I can get it to it. Okay, I'll show this off. Before I get hop close. So you can either fight or act. And if you fight, you get into this screen. You just select it closest to the green as you can. It does damage. Ribbit, ribbit. Froggit doesn't seem to know why it's here. So you also have the option to act. So if I go to act and I check. Frog it. Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Hop hop. Frog it hops to and fro. So I can compliment him, for example. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Oh, in the combat, when you're on defense, you're in that bullet hell where you're controlling the heart. So he seems reluctant to fight you. So if you look at him, his name is now Yellow. As soon as I can mercy him, spare him, and the battle's over without killing. And I appreciate games that give me that choice. I just did this puzzle, so I already know which direction I'm supposed to go to. You'll fall through if you don't follow that path. Push these rocks forward. Okay, so both of these guys are here. So Wimsom's yellow, Froggit's white, which means he won't run if I try and mercy him. So we'll compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Forgive me. The controller! And now we can spare both of them at once, because they're both yellow. Whoa there, partner! Who say you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? 
you want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay. I think I got it. Was that helpful? Sure was. Ah, uh, come on. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there longer? You're giving me a real workout. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Mouse hole. Z, 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 Z. Are they gone yet? Z, Z. The ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Here comes Napstabluk. We'll check on Napstabluk. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Napstabluk is staring into the distance. Let's cheer him on. Gave Napstabluk a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Napsabluk looks just a little bit better. He told Napsabluk a little joke. <laughs> Whoa. Hearing seems to have improved Napsabluk's mood. Here, Napsabluk wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapperbluk. Do you like it? Absolute eagerly awaits your response. Cheer. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's no one around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Okay, let's go down here first. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 18G in the web. You didn't have enough gold. Wait, I don't have gold? Oh, oh that's unfortunate. That's going to be a problem later on. These guys give you some uh, basic information about the game. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Luke's near. Luke's, let's not pick on this guy. Or let's check on him. Luke's, don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. Oh, Luke's, I, I get it now. Please don't pick on me. Luke's is staring right through you. Don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Luke's is gazing at you. Spare him. Big Ops crawled up close. Bear, swing your arms, baby. Swing your arms, baby. Big Ops doesn't have a care in the world. Actually, I might go get this real quick. Hey, what is this? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Vegetoid. Check. Vegetoid, serving size, one monster. Not monitored by the USDA. Fresh morning taste. Oh no! Oh no! Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! Oh, so some of the mechanics will change up. So white is always damaging you, but like that green one healed me. So now I can mercy him. Oh, I was hoping I would get something out of that. Like another healing item. Alright, I, I didn't look at it last time. Let's just look at this. Mold small. Well, let's go with this. La la, just be yourself. Easy enough. The uh, the bug looking guy, he doesn't. Uh, he only does what people around him do. So if you separate, if you isolate him, then he'll stop fighting. Oh, this is gonna be rough. 
You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Hmm, cha cha cha. Yeah, once you get him down by himself, then he'll just dance and you can spare him. I know the answers because I just played this like 10 minutes ago. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Oh, it's gonna be rough. Hope I can survive this. Bear. As you'll see uh, once we get to the boss, these get a lot more complicated, and sometimes you gotta think outside of the box. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. You smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. That there. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. already? I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. Let's follow her out. Also love the music in this game. It's my ringtone on my phone. All my ringtones on my phone are pretty much this. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Ascor, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do you not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Ah oh, man, I love this song. Oh, I can use a D-pad! I didn't know that. Oh, this is going to be so much better. Maybe a little bit better. Oh, 
That was so close. Oh god, did not mean to get hit there, monster candy. Can I not use this? Okay. Oriel looks through you. Bear, what are you doing? through you. Spare. Attack or run away? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I can't take any more hits. Whew. Why is this not working? This is weird. This has never happened before. Okay. That's weird. What are you proving this way? Boreal looks through you. Spare. Fight me or leave. Boreal takes a deep breath. Spare. Stop it. Boreal looks through you. Stop looking at me that way. Boreal prepares a magical attack. Go away! Boreal looks through you. Spare. Oh no! Okay. Toriel prepares a magic attack. Alright, so now that I've progressed far enough in the conversation, you can see that Toriel is acting aloof, but also attacks weren't hitting me. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise, I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. So sad. Goodbye, my child. Alright, so this was True Plays Undertale. I really love this game. I cannot recommend highly enough that you go play this. Definitely your first time through, I would recommend playing Pacifist and then going through with the other, the other ending. But uh, I'm not going to walk through that door because this is going to be all for True's Games of 2015 list. Subscribe to my channel. I do daily videos of games, food, and life. If you have any ideas or suggestions, leave me some feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching. My name's True, and we'll chat later.